Hello, hello, my friends. Uncle Misha is here. Welcome to Inside Out Electronics channel. And today we are looking at, at something which got upgraded. And I was waiting when it's gonna happen. Eventually, it did happen. So some of you already may recognize this little log over here and this bunch of LEDs. So let's get quickly to it or quickly take a look what we have. We have micro bit, obviously. This is. Oh wow, so this is Microbit version 2, apparently by Element 14, and um, my god, there is some even bunch of papers over here. But papers, we not, not, we're not after papers, we are after this little guy. Oops, so excited, almost kicked my camera off. So this little guy is Microbit version 2. Uh, if you are interested to see uh, why I'm so excited, because this is version 2, it's a better and upgraded version of original microbit. You can take a look at my video, which um, I po posted probably a few years ago by now, yeah, yeah. I was super excited to actually put my hands on the original version of microbit, but today I'm even more excited to show you the new generation of microbit, which is obviously, look at this little teeny tiny V2 over here, which is obviously going to be much more a uh, potent or powerful and, um, and uh, obviously it's going to pack some features. So as you see, the form factor is pretty much uh, unchanged except this notches over here looks like they changed it a bit yeah and the form factor is uh, didn't change so and obviously the all infrastructure all compact all devices which gonna be was designed for original microbit gonna still work perfectly let's zoom out zoom in a little bit and talk about what we have so I have compiled a little um, sheet over here, it's like essentially a cheat sheet, which shows all pinout over here, right? So that's um, pretty much compatible with original a uh, microbit uh, version one, which is quite important. So all those pins, uh, you, 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 on this cheat sheet you can see all pins, which are first of all those big tops, which three of them. There are power over here and three data, so that's. Um, uh, three data pins you can you know essentially general GPIOs and there is also I square C and and things like that so what's cool about this so here is a little comparison table over here between the original version or as they call it current this is actually taken from the uh, microbit website so I'm not you know I didn't compile this myself I just took three screenshots put it in one place so at run 52A33 uh, it has a little bit more memory, essentially twice flash and four times, uh, actually not four, way more than that, eight times more a, a RAM. So this is amazing. It has different NXP uh, USB interface, so it has 32 kilobytes of RAM. I'm not sure why it's important to us. I never actually had a chance to play with this guy, maybe. Maybe because I know this guy is connected, if you look at the schematic here, this main processor connected to this via um, SVD bus and uh, UART and it has also U, uh, I square C internal, which is something very important, I'll talk to, talk a bit later. So yeah, te technically you can talk to them, I don't know why it would be your case, and essentially maybe you can program this device to act like, for example, heat device, I don't know, that's possibility. Uh, so yeah, uh, maybe you can because you see it, it it has this USB and GST. Maybe you can control your battery via via this device potentially. But I'm not sure what would be the use cases. But obviously, I never actually play with this USB interface only with the main processor. So. Uh, then it has MEMS microphone and LED indicator. I'm not sure what is LED indicator stands for. And maybe it's LED indicator straight for the microphone that actually microphone is active. Maybe this is quite important to, to indicate that microphone is active, that you're being recorded. Then it has onboard speaker, which is this beefy dude. Touch sensitive logo, as I mentioned, it's over here. So this is these are the things which original version doesn't have. It has the same amount of pins, 25 pins on an edge connector and has four dedicated GPIOs, pull with modulated signals, I2C, um, SPI, and external power. 
blah 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 this three rings it's all cool essentially five rings three of them gpios and two of them are power related and they are notched not sure what's the use of it but yeah whatever for easier connection let's say but what's cool about it that this guy let's take a look at the schematic it has dedicated i square c bus so which is an external I2C bus for a for your project. So the original version shared the I2C bus with internal and external. It was the same bus. So that was the problem because uh, motion sensors, uh, uh, some other things. Um, I don't remember what was else was running on the uh, I2C bus and the UR. They were talking on the same bus. So essentially, you had to remember that the addresses of those devices and not to use them in your project. So that was quite a pain in the ass. Turned out to be now it's this problem is solved. Uh, so this new version uh, of the uh, Nordic Semiconductor chip actually running the latest version of Bluetooth, like 5.0, which is uh, pretty good. Um, it has some extra LED, LED power indicator and power off, push and hold power button. So essentially this, this button can shut this down because I think there is a controller which actually controls a power over here probably this regulator or maybe oh maybe power actually power goes through a um, this uh, kl 27z i think it it has i think it has an internal voltage regulator if i'm not mistaken have to take a look at that because there is some voltage regulatory job is here but that those may be related to these diodes i don't know for sure yet Okay, uh, I guess some of you may recognize some other guys over here. All right, and this guy. Okay, so what do we have? So this probably is much more familiar to many of you. This is original version. I'm not sure if this is, this is version 1.3b. This is one, it's not 1.5, this is 1.3b. I think there is a minor differences between. So as you see, form factor is really, really, really close, right? Some things are missing, for example, there is no, obviously, and there is no thing like um, a speaker, there is no a microphone over here, but there is a compass accelerometer. And obviously, the A even over here, there are two different chips right here, compass ac and accelerometer in one chip. So this is interesting. On, on, on this side, they are almost identical except the touch log over here. Talking about this guy, which I would say is a clone of a sort, but I think this is, for my opinion, this is superior clone. It has way more stuff. First of all, it has a speaker, it has a microphone like back then, it has a light sensor, it, it has temperature and pressure, it has gy gyroscope accelerometer, it has humidity, and it has also neopixels right here. It, I think it has flash memory, it has dedicated a, how do you call it, um, I2C connector, it has similar chippy, which are, let me, my palm memory theft, don't serve me correctly, let me see what the heck is that. Duh, it just clearly indicates over here an RF52840 BLE, so it's a bit superior to those two. And on the on the front here, we have a light sensor, we have two uh, LEDs, we have buttons, and we have OLED screen. Ooh, way like I don't think beat this guy. You I don't know you have to what you have to do in order to beat other fruit clue. I think this is this is so much more powerful and the main thing it is compat pin compatible with uh, those two guys. And here we are because for this uh, a um, how do you call it? Microbit, the original Microbit, I got this this uh, uh, breakout board. It has the uh, connector, it has a button, has another uh, USB, it has much more powerful voltage regulator, it has speaker. Yes, it had uh, or it has speaker. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen if I connect this guy and this guy, which it has exactly the same speaker right here. No, again, I never actually tried to connect this guy and use the speaker as well. I'm not sure if speaker connected this particular one connected to the same port or not. But I have this breakout board, which is amazing. If you run your projects, you have those Dupont pins. You can connect anything you want for prototyping. It's beautiful. So I love this board. And I think this is IO Beat. 
how you beat uh, the company who actually developed this. It's 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 amazing one. Like it. And also there is even mute button over here. That's pretty cool. To mute the not mute per se, how do you call it? Shut off the microphone. Sorry, not microphone, the speaker. So yeah, it's probably gonna be disconnected. So in this case, you uh, would be able to use this onboard speaker. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Anyways, so here is a little comparison of each individual uh, micro bits and uh, a, a micro bit clone. Maybe there are, there are more clones, but I'm not aware about them. So, so far I have only three and this one so far the most a how to say powerful one of them and most used look like my even those pins are used so much more because i was plugging it in and out and using it uh, quite a lot but this is still amazing that we got newer version because this thing is cheaper substantially cheaper than this one obviously and if you don't care about screen and my projects honestly i don't care about any of those leds and screens i just need bunch of sensors sensors are what's amazing for that so sometime if you like if i would like to save some energy or i may just pull this out of here or maybe reuse it in some other project to save uh, energy because i don't think you can completely shut well well, you, you may not uh, output any information on it, but I think it's still going to consume some energy. Uh, yeah, so here we are. If you're going to see detailed review of this and this guy, so uh, uh, Clue and the uh, first version, please take a look at the links uh, at the end of the video. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Ciao! Oh yeah, I had a quick look on this little uh, piece of paper. Uh, so. So this is indicates this little piece of paper is actually indication on how easily this thing is uh, can be up and running. So you just power it up and you can already do something. And over here, how you can um, easily connect it and start writing your code. This is amazing. I like it. So this is really really kid friendly device. This is amazing. Let me try something here. So after reading this little pamphlet, I decided to wait. Well, well, how could I not power it up? Let's just do it. Okay. Oh wow, it's doing some fancy things right there. Looks like it's going through some sort of demonstration here. That's cool. Hmm, checking buttons here. Sh shake? Oh, shake. Okay, let's shake. Okay, I have to finish. Tilt, okay. Now looks like this is the game where you have to like You have to kind of catch with your little guy another guy, so something to this extent. Clap. Okay, let's clap. Ten. Test. Test. One. Two. Three. Four. Test. Test. Five. I really like that level meter. This is amazing. It's actually one of the ideas I wanted to do with the microcontroller, for example, with the other ones I have. Oh, wow, nice. So demo is over, looks like. Pretty neat. This is pretty neat. I like it. So guys, okay, let's, this, that was the bonus video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're gonna enjoy this um, microbit version too. And if you have any ideas, any comments, and any ideas how do you use it, please share with us. Thank you.